What's up, y'all? I'm Mike from Omega Music. Gus Davis. And I'm Sarah Levin. We're the owners of Barrel House. And today we are cracking a seal on the incredible David Axelrod Songs of Experience, uh, reissued by Now Again Records. So um, this is part two in a two-part or a three-part uh, trilogy. The only kind of trilogy there is a three-part one. <laughs> um, um, so you may remember the first record, Songs of Innocence, that now again reissued for Record Store Day. I think we sold out of this by like noon. We had a bunch of copies. Yeah, so it. It's like a very, it was a very sought-after piece. This one um, didn't have as much hype around it because it didn't come out on Record Store Day. Sure. But it's, uh, in my opinion, it's the better of the two albums, though, though the first album is very, very good as well. So I'm gonna crack this open. Uh, I want to say a quick shout out to Now Again Records and the homie Lou from Traffic for hooking us up with this for the episode today. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Now Again. Really appreciate it. it makes all the difference. Um, so this is an audio file. I think this might be the first audio file pressing that we've done. So this was mastered directly from David Axelrod's own EQ'd master tapes at Capitol Records. Word. Uh, now again, doesn't fuck around. Yeah, yeah. They reissue like so much essential stuff. They're one of the reissue labels like Numero that you can really almost just like blindly buy everything that they put out, even if you've never heard of it. And sure. it's going to be dope and you're going to probably love it. Nice. Um, I love that. So, yeah. Songs of Experience. Let's put it on. Yeah. What are we pairing this with today? A uh, new one from Avery, the highly talked about Raspberry Truff Ale. Oh, yeah, we'll play on words. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I don't think you have. No, but I really want to. Yeah. Because I love raspberry and truffles, and this beer has been very talked about this week amongst customers and beer friends uh, about how amazing it is. So we've been um, dying to try it. I'm a sucker for raspberry truffles in general. And Ooh, look how dark it is. Yeah, some motor oil. Yeah, they're Avery is definitely well known for their big stouts that they put out. And this is a big stout, uh, dude. I, I, I always get the shit like, for. Chivalry is not dead. Ladies and <laughs> Thanks. That's why they call it the love seat, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, uh, it's uh, about what, 14 percent alcohol by volume, so it's a big boy. Um, mm -hmm. Eight. Burn barrel yep, bourbon barrel age with chocolate and razzies. Mm. That's awesome. All right, shall we toast? Yeah, you didn't even have to pour today. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Your shoes love it too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, she's thick. That's really, really good. That's totally Yeah. There's like so much raspberry on the finish. Yeah. You don't get it right up front, yeah. but on the end, it's like. It's like a you, stouty start and then. It's like you just finished yeah. sucking on a raspberry chocolate. <laughs> and, and what I like about it is with these big ass stouts, it's often easy for them to become like overly sweet, like sickeningly sweet. Yeah. And I don't think this one is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's really good. You can actually drink it. It's yeah. not overly boozy either for that ABV. What's the ABV? 14. What up? <laughs> it's Fair like enough it doesn't to taste like now. it, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we split one 12 ounce bottle between yeah. the three of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get your morning started right. Yeah. So, Lou told me from traffic that they are going to be um, doing the third, uh, now I get to be issuing the third Earth Rock record in the trilogy. So, I'm pumped about that. Make sure you collect all three, you know, that type of thing. You gotta catch your We got a 28 page uh, booklet, I believe, here with just. Interviews from David Axelrod. That's dirty. The whole nine yards. I mean, this is just like I said. Now again, we love you. We love your reissues. You do great work. Keep doing your thing. They have a subscription service where it's like the records are exclusive to the service. Nice. What? It's like fifty bucks every quarter, I think. And it's like you get one record, and it's like a free LP, and it's like the work. You know what I mean? Hmm. Total, That's dope. Total package reissue thing. I keep wanting to sign up for it. Why would you not? Uh, because I'm a completionist, so I have to do the start me from the beginning option, mm -hmm. which at this point now is like six or seven hundred dollars. So I just gotta <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to start somewhere. I gotta start somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, if you're watching this and you feel like donating to the Barrel House uh, Omega Cause, we'll take that. You we'll know. start a GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can listen to the records on Ronald Vinyl Sunday. We'll share. It's fine. <laughs> we'll let you listen to it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 
foil too. That's yeah. how you know it's good. Yeah, we'll have this one on tap for um, for an event that we're doing with Avery next month on a Saturday, I believe the 22nd I of believe September. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. It's that's right around one. wedding time, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh, the yeah. weekend before our <laughs> wedding. Yeah. There you go. Uh, <laughs> 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 the power couple, y'all. <laughs> the delicious uh, raspberry beer. Yeah. yeah. Raspberry truff ale. Truff ale. That's so clever. Yeah. Always. One more time. One more time. Cheers. Right. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Cheers. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs>